Welcome to the Guide Exile. In this guide, we are going to be discussing cartographer sextants that can be used on maps within your atlas. But before we begin, I would like to remind you that this guide was made in partnership with fellow content creator and atlas guru, Carve. You can find him on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Discord, which I have linked in the video description. Important note, in every major expansion or patch, the atlas can be or is reshuffled to add, remove, and change map locations and tiers around. This reshuffling does not change the base mechanics of the atlas, so all of the core rules, ideas, and general recommendations will still hold true. To apply what is discussed in these guides, just disconnect the names from the maps and apply the general rules and ideas to the atlas as it currently stands. Sextants are a special type of map crafting currency that is specifically used on the atlas itself and are a huge tool in map sustained strategies that focus on a certain subset of maps. They can also be used in a fully completed atlas in certain scenarios, but greatly benefit from setups running specific maps. Sextants can be used on unlocked map bases to add more modifiers to the map and any surrounding maps within the red circle that they create. There are three sextant variations, one for each map tier color. Apprentice sextants will be applied on maps up to tier 5, journeyman sextants can be applied on maps up to tier 10, and Master Sextants can be applied on maps up to tier 16. Now even though there are limits to which bases these Sextants can be applied to, maps above their tier restriction can still benefit from the Sextant modifier if they are within the red circle. For example, if you apply an Apprentice Sextant to an Ancient City map, then Sepulcher would also benefit from that Sextant. Even though it is above the tier restriction of Apprentice Sextants, it still exists within the red circle. It is also worth noting that all maps within the Sextant ranges will benefit from each Sextant applying to it, there are also various modifiers for each tier of sextant, usually adding more monster types or unique bonuses to characters. When using those sextants, you will always want to be rolling them until you get a modifier that adds monsters, barrels, strong boxes, Zana, or increases pack size in the zone. Since there are so many variations of the modifiers and they are always adding more, I will provide a short list of the bad sextant modifiers that are currently out that you will want to roll over and avoid as they do not add any monsters or value to the map. Each sextant will have three map uses. One use of a sextant is consumed per map opened in the map device that is within the sextant's red circle. No completion or entrance of the map is required. So you will get three map creations before you need to reapply sextants. You are also only allowed to use a certain number of sextants on your atlas at one time based on the completion of certain objectives. The number of sextants allowed on your atlas can be seen in the counter just below the atlas completion bonus in the center of your atlas. The number of sextants allowed is effectively tied to your atlas completion bonus objectives within that counter and it will show your oldest sextant that will be removed if a sextant is applied past your limit into a map base without a sextant. Maps that currently have sextants can just be re-rolled without the oldest being removed if you are at the limit. Now the best way to make use of sextants is to apply them on and around a certain map base that you will be running numerous times, generally a minimum of three. For the most part, Players choose to do this on maps that they have shaped or that are above tier 11. It is important to note that sextants affecting the same map bases are unable to roll the same modifiers. This was originally used to create massive sextant blocks, but now due to the sextant limit on the atlas, you are only able to do this at a small scale. This makes the strategy useful to minimize the cost of re-rolling your sextants as they can be used to block bad modifiers. So when you apply your sextants at and around your chosen map base, you will want to use cheaper sextants first moving up to the more expensive ones as you hit your sextant limit or applicable number of modifiers to maps available. This usually results in rolling poor modifiers first on the cheaper sextants, blocking the chance of getting bad modifiers on the more expensive sextants. You can then go back and re-roll them in reverse order to get the more valuable modifiers, hopefully minimizing the re-roll cost. Some people have told me that they do this in reverse order, putting the more expensive sextants on before the cheaper ones, and it works just as well. After these sextants have been applied, you can simply use a map base within the sextant modification area to activate and use those sextant modifiers. We will discuss more sextant uses in later guides about sustaining and shaping, but feel free to use these in situations where you may have numerous well-rolled high tier maps of the same base to get some more returns from them. So I hope I have shed some light on how sextants work at a base level and when and where to start using them. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, Exile.